Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. This is Art of Creation Homestead, and we're in the kitchen, but we're not cooking, okay? Angela knows it's getting a canning season. We've already done some, we've already canned some beans. Um, we're going to be doing more canning here very soon, and she knows that, hey, we've got a lot of people who watch our videos who do canning, okay? Canning, canning has been a big part of this channel and been a big part of uh, subscribers coming to this channel. So we want to make sure that we, we, we start off canning season right, okay? So today, Angela's gonna come over here and we're going to go through like her canning essentials, some tips, tricks, can, uh, essential uh, equipment to have, uh, small or large either one, and just some things like that, okay? So we'll come over here and Angela's gonna take control, all right? Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the types of canners that I, that I particularly have. First, we have the good old fashioned water bath canner, stove top water bath canner. You probably saw your granny have this. And see, it has the rack in it. See, it has, it has your rack that you load your jars into and that props up. Mm -hmm. Th this works great. It just does. Very simple, get it anywhere. I think I paid. Maybe ten dollars for no, it. No, they've gone up since then. They've, they've gone up since they've then. They've gone up since then. Don't don't worry about prices. But they're not expensive. They're dirt cheap. It's not expensive. But I have upgraded from this, and I'm so glad I did. To this. This is the Ball Fresh Tech water bath electric water bath canner. I wanted one of these for a long time. I'm so glad I upgraded. This is fully electric, so you don't have to set it on the stove. You can set it anywhere, and it holds as many jars as this does. Actually, it will hold one more pint than that does. And it does everything that does. And actually a little more because you can also just use this as just a regular very large electric cooking pot but as you can see it has controls down here and see you can see where it has medium and high those are for using it as a regular cooking pot or you can put it on canning and that's where you use it as a canner to me one of the best features about this if you are someone who has a disability or cannot lift heavy things this is extremely heavy to lift off of the stove and pour the, the water down the drain this you sit it next to your sink and it has this you just raise up and all your water pours out into your sink and you do not have to lift a big heavy pot you just let all the water out. It is a little pricey, but it is worth every penny of it. This is the Presto 16 quart pressure canner. Do not be confused. 16 quart does not mean that it will hold 16 quart jars to can. It means it will hold 16 quarts of water from bottom to top. It does not mean you can hold 16 quart jars. You can only hold seven. They also have a 23 quart. The difference is it's much taller and you can do, you can stack pints in that one. You can put a plate between two layers of pints and do two layers of pints rather than one. This one, you can only do one layer of pints. I didn't feel a need to get the bigger one. This one is significantly cheaper than the larger one. So that might, that was a huge deciding factor. If you're looking for a pressure canner on a, on a, on a, lower, on a lower budget, then this is the one. This is the one you want. Yeah, it is. And we will leave a link to all of these things below. Okay, the next thing we have is this is for uh, an electric coil stove. If that is the type of stove that you have, this is a canning element. 
I know not a lot of people talk about these, but the importance of it is this. First off, it is a little bit bigger than your biggest eye on your stove. It also, as you can see, it sits up higher. So it doesn't leave that dirty ring around your stove that is hard to get off at the end of canning season. Because this holds your, your pot much higher off of the stove top. This also heats uh, twice as fast as a normal electric coil eye. It also heats way more even. This whole thing will glow completely red. And it heats much more even and much faster. I would not dream of doing especially pre pressure canning without yeah, this. Yeah, it's a lot stronger. It's a lot just stronger than I in general. And it, set, it sits way more even. There's yeah. no teetering yeah. or anything like that. It sits sturdy. This little set is something that most new canners see and most buy. It's a set that's put out by Ball. It's fairly cheap. And you get a funnel, jar lifters, a debubbling tool, and a magnet for your for your lids. Now, I used this a lot when I first started out canning. And I still use the debubbling tool. I still use the magnet. I And I still use this for other things. These, on the other hand, not so much. First off, <laughs> most people think that this is silicone, so it's a comfort group handle. No. So most people do this. That is not the way to use this. These are the handles. This is what you lift the jar with. As you can see, it's not sturdy. These handles break very easy. These are already splitting. And the hotter they get when you're pulling out stuff, the more they start to split. And I've almost dropped several jars with this. Yeah, those jars are pretty heavy once they're full. And, and this is not, yeah. this is not good equipment. Nope. That's when I replaced it with this. These are also put out by Ball. They're spring loaded. They have wonderful grips. And see, that's secure. It's not going anywhere. And I will leave a link to this kit, but I also will leave a link to this. Mm -hmm. Now, these are new to me. This is a new funnel that I have just purchased. And I think it's absolutely amazing <laughs> because it keeps the rim of your jar both outside and inside clean because the way it sits on your jar, it will, it will sit on wide mouth or regular mouth jars. And see, it goes down inside the jar, but it also goes over the top of the loop. So it does not give product any chance to get on the jar anywhere. It also has a headspace measure so that you can see it right on the outside. Ingenious design. We'll definitely leave a link for that. You guys know I always use a mug because I've never found a ladle that I like. This one changed my mind. This ladle will hold half of a pint at one time. That's what I've been looking for all along. It also has a rest where you can put this, you can clip this on the end of your pot. And you can also lay it down to the side and scoop everything out of the corner of your pot. It's perfect design. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about jars. People get confused about wide mouth versus regular mouth. This is a wide mouth. See, I can stick my hand all the way down in. Can't. So much with this. Um... This is the general rule of thumbs for jams, jellies, things that you don't have to pack in a jar. Most people will use regular mouth. 
things that you just pour in. For things like beans that you have, or tomatoes or things like that that you have to pack in, they will use wide mouth. I just simplify the whole thing and buy wide mouth for everything. I prefer wide mouth. They hold just a tiny bit more food. And also, I just like the fact that I've got all of that space. I don't have to try to work this debubbling tool down around the edges to get down in there. See, it goes straight down. Where this, I have to go in and down. That's why I prefer wide mouth. Now, wide mouth are usually about a dollar more expensive per flat. To me, it's worth that money. If it's not to you, then you can do what, what works best for you. Now, this is something that you're not going to see a lot of people do. This is something that I was taught as a kid to do when canning. This keeps your canning area so much cleaner. I use a glass pie plate. You can also use just a disposable one. I set my funnel, my ladle, and every and my jar, and right here I can put my jar right here, and I have everything right there. You set this on top, and you do this, and this catches all your drips, and you've got no mess everywhere else. Your mess is just in this, and then you just wash this. It makes perfect sense to me. And most people already have a pipe light of some sort in their house. And this is last, but certainly not least. This is actually probably one of the most important things here. Other than the canners. And that is my, weight, my weighted pressure gauge. For my pressure canner. If you haven't seen any of my pressure canning videos, I will go through this quickly. This dial... Each year that you use it, it can get just a little bit off calibration. Which means you will not be canning at the right pounds of pressure. It will tell you that it's at 10 when it's really not. You are really canning it at too high of pressure. Um, you have to take this gauge off your lid, take it to your county extension agent, and have it recalibrated once a year. To avoid that, you can buy this wonderful little device. It's not real expensive, and it's worth every penny. When it's like this, it's 15 pounds pressure. Each one of these rings is five pounds pressure. It does not mean that these rings weigh five pounds a piece. It does not, <laughs> it's not that. This is five pounds. You add one for 10, and two is 15. And this will start to jiggle to release excess pressure when it gets to the right pounds of pressure. And you do not have to go by this anymore. And you will not have to take this and have it calibrated because you rely on this, which is no fail. It's worth every dime you would pay for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so there it is. Angela's little tips, tricks, tools of the trade, right? Um, again, this is all stuff that we've learned, or she's learned, okay, she's learned, over the course of, of our time doing this. So, hey, please feel free to come to our channel, look for canning videos, ask her, ask her questions about canning. She's more than happy to answer them, okay? So subscribe to the channel for all the canning videos you could possibly want, and we'll, uh, and, um, and Angela will be there. She, can, she will, she's glad to uh, help you along your way, okay? So we appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, whatever, you know. We love you guys so much. God bless you and goodbye.